Hello and welcome to the highlights from the Tenants Men's Premiership and National Leagues for the final time this year. Unfortunately, the weather took out most of the competition this week in Scotland as we saw many cancellations of matches. However, we do have one match to bring you from the West Coast as Ayr take on Stirling County. Ayr picked up where they left off a couple of weeks ago when Scott Watson went over for the first try of the match in the corner. Sterling answered back moments later with this penalty to make it 5-3. But Air extended their lead when Kieran Wood managed to find the gap through the Sterling defence and go over the Astra turf line. With the conversion successful, it was 12-3 to the hosts at half-time as they looked to put pressure on Kelso at the top of the table. And they went in for their next try with Scott Watson getting his second. But he wasn't looking to be outdone by his attacking partner Kieran Wood who went over for his second as both chased for a hat-trick. But neither of them would find that third try. Instead, it would be a first try of the game for Ross McCorkendale, who was found in space to go over unopposed for the easiest of tries. And not soon after the restart, Jamie Bova went over to cap off what was a fantastic performance from the hosts. Sterling, however, did get the last try of the match as Gregor Smith managed to brush off the Sterling defence and go through for their first try of the game. However, that was the last try of the match and Ayr walked away with a five-point victory. Which leaves the Tenants Men's National 1 table now looking like this, the only major change being that Ayr are now level on points with Kelso and three points ahead of Melrose. With a game in hand now, Sterling only find themselves two points ahead of Watsonians and the relegation spots. When we return to Tenants Men's National 1 action, it will be the big battle between 2nd and 3rd as Ayr travel to the Green Yards to take on Melrose and Stirling County will take on 11th place Aberdeen Grammar. 12th place Stuart's Melville will also take on 10th place Watsonians. Elsewhere, Gala take on Dundee, Highland take on GHK and Kelso will take on Bigger. And so that is it for another weekend of Tenants Men's Premiership and National League action. And that is it for another year of club rugby in Scotland. What a year 2022 has been. We look forward to seeing what 2023 brings to us. We hope that you have a great festive season and a happy new year. And we shall see you in January. <laughs>